Yeah. Say I go to dinner and you invite your friends, but he okay. didn't know. Are you expecting your boyfriend to pay for all their meals? Yeah. Even though he didn't know they were coming? Me personally, yeah. I'm, I would, You yes. still want him to pay all their yes, meals? Yes, because you're a man. Like, be a man and it, pay it, for that shit. What you mean be a man? Like, she's a grown-ass woman with grown-ass jobs. I mean, well, she making grown-ass money. She could pay for her stuff for herself if she want to come in and be the third wheel. Hell no, man. You are wow. respecting. You're okay. respecting them in that but kind of way. But what if he says, like, no, I don't want to pay for their bills. Like, you didn't tell me in advance. Yeah, don't come out with us. Like, no, why would you come out with us? No, that's an argument. It was a y'all thing, but you brought them last minute. Still, you want them to pay for it? We are adults, and adults have jobs. So if you put yourself in a predicament where you're the third wheel, when your homegirl and her boyfriend or her husband is going out, you pay for your stuff. If he offered it, that's fine. But if it's like, yo, he's obligated to pay for all of us, nah, that's not cool. That shit we used to do when we was like in high school and in college, like, you know what I'm saying? You go out with your girlfriend and, and her friend come along or whatever, then y'all, in Wendy's, you buy, you know, you buy her a little fry. What the, what the little burger, man? The, you might buy her a junior bacon cheeseburger, and you know that's cool. But you talking about we going to to on on we going on a, a dinner dinner date, cheesecake factory, red lobster type. You bitch, what? You think I'm finna get you a to go bag? Come on now. I don't went what through this phone. She texting her ex to the bear. I don't wanna hear that, man. No, oh, that bro. No, oh. it wasn't that serious. Oh. Out of here. Bro, I done went through your phone and, Babe, and you so still texting me. Please do not leave me, please. please. Bro, fuck, get the fuck please. off me. It's, it's not over. That I'm so sorry. It's over. Baby, I will give you a thousand dollars. Bro, did you prank? A thousand dollars. You are not about to give me no a thousand dollars. Get out of here. Please, come on. You ready about to give me a thousand dollars? Yes, just take me to the bank. Why is you crying? He switched up quick. You ready about to give me a thousand dollars? All right. Really that breath, yeah, crazy. Hey, All right, now go ahead, delete that man number, and we get your number changed tomorrow. Okay. You're not gonna leave me, right? Let's talk I don't know if that's a W or if that's an L, cause in that might be the thousand dollars that her, her, you know, her side dude gave her. In that situation, that might be a W. But at the same time, where's your morals at? I don't know. I don't, I don't. Somebody tell me, is that a W or a L? Do you go raw or do you use the counter with your side guy? Raw. We might go raw a little bit. Raw. I know y'all been asking for me to bring this back. But, like, it ain't even lighting up. All that demon energy coming. What you mean you going raw with your side, dude? Why you even have a side? Because I don't... Condom. Condom. What should I have the side guys in the first place? That's the question. You, know, you get tired of the main. Okay. See, so I go to the side. Yo, I don't know what city or state this young man is from, but the women over there are filthy, filthy, and harlotins. Harlotins. The last video I did with him. He interviewed this girl and she said she she uh he had relations with her new dude and then went and had relations with her ex boyfriend and like the new dude had you know ejaculated at her and when she had sex with her her ex boyfriend he basically ate it filthy son. Look at my fat ass outside somebody motherfucking Korea. Where you fat at? I don't put up and get in my ass. I'm like, yeah, I got Starbucks and everything, y'all. Put up to this house trying to find out why the fuck he not answering the phone. Thought about him. Bought him Starbucks, y'all. He, I come to his window, y'all. He in the bed with a bitch. I'm finna show y'all.
they sleep sleep. Y'all, I'm outside cold, shivering, y'all. Like, it's cold as fuck out here, y'all. Watch this. I'm gonna get these motherfucking drinks, and I'm gonna open them, and I'm gonna throw them in that motherfucking window, and I'm gonna come back in this car, and you grab this motherfucking test so fast. You hear me? I'm Ah right, y'all. I'm getting out the Tesla. I got the oh, yeah, I hope the Uber driver got a tip. Ass, bitch. He was gonna be thirsty with a bitch. I hope the Uber driver got a tip, bro. Thirsty ass. pull off ever because that tesla don't make no noise <laughs> that tesla don't make no noise that pull off was so trash I'll just chalk up all that nonsense to saying that she hurt. That's why she's speaking all that gibberish. Yeah, what do you consider yourself? Um, I consider myself as like a bad bitch and like, you know, like, Period. Period. Can you get a 360? Yeah, bro. Now, hey, yeah. what makes you bad? What do you think of her? Right I'm here, right here. Right here? Yeah, right me. Don't mind if I do. Fuck, a good four? Oh, for real? Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah, want to. Yo, yo, bro, this man is a villain. He's a villain, bro. But I'm not going to lie. She deserved that. She, he's a villain. Oh, snap. I'm a good five, but... Yeah. You really think that of her? You... Yeah. You, you really think that of her? Friend? If I bring her a motherfucking a thousand, what that is? Honest about a thousand. A thousand? A thousand. No. I'm there. You, you see her? She hurts. Hey, She's yeah, looking mom. at her. Yo, hey, she hurts. You're honest about yourself. You're five, right? You're five, yeah. She's you know, hurt. I consider myself as a what, a ten? He humbled her so quick. He humbled her so quick. And I'm not going to lie. She needed to be humbled. Her and her fan club needed to be humbled. You could just tell out the group of friends that, you know, she's the she's the best looking one. Even though I don't even think her, her other friends looked that bad, but they looked up to her. And when he did that, he crushed her and he crushed them. Started stuttering after that. <laughs> I, I consider myself a what? Uh, a, she... <laughs> Touche. But to be honest with you, she's very attractive, but she's dumb. So, yeah, she is a four. All right, so I'll explain the story behind these hoodies. For those who've been on my channel for a long time, you know I had a bitter bout with depression. Bitter. Okay, to the point where one day I was in my car and I shot stuff in the chest. And it didn't work because my... And the next day... I had to go to work, so I went to work, and I didn't feel like dealing with anybody. I was running my machine, and I was just drawing, and I came up with this. Well, actually, it wasn't this. It was what you see in the back right here. It was just ODL, so it was literally the first part of this, okay? And I came home, got on Illustrator, and I made this. I started adding these to it. So... The first part was ODL, a play on, a play on my name, overdose lads. But it really meant 
overdosed on love. And, you know, at the time, I felt as though that's what I needed. I went to my boy Mills, and we created these. We created this one. And we created this one. It was another one we created, but my boy Greg lost it. So I started wearing those, and, you know, they made me feel a lot better. That's why you see me wear these hoodies a lot, because it's something I created. And it's something that got me through a tough time in my life. I'll probably talk about it on another video. But anyway, <clears throat> a lot of people has been asking about these hoodies. A lot of people want me to sell these hoodies. And I do want to sell them. I do want to create them as merch. But I want you to know that they mean a lot to me. So that's why I've been procrastinating. Like, these really... that This design really mean a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? It's something that I created from scratch. And it's something I created at a time when I just really needed an outlet. And this was my outlet. I had a company make this particular hoodie here. And um, so it has the overdose last design on the front. And it has the... It has the ODL on the back. I'm actually working on a website so I can start putting them out there and make them available for you guys to purchase. Based on how much they cost to make, I probably wouldn't be making that much of a profit. But to be honest, um, I hope that just hearing this, if you was to purchase the hoodie, I hope that hearing what I'm saying and where it came from, it'll mean something to you. Because if my didn't jam, then I wouldn't have been able to create this. Okay? That's just being honest with you. So, yeah. For those of y'all been asking for the merch, they're coming soon.